So what is it like? What does it take? What does it take then? Okay, let's start with that. What does it What does it take to be a leader in the power line industry today? Um, I can't speak for everybody, but I know for me, it takes you know a love for what you're doing, a deep understanding for what you're trying to accomplish and what the the risks are and how everything goes sideways, um, and then being uh, abrupt making decisions even if it's the wrong decision like sometimes you just have to make a decision and go with it um, obviously not to the point where someone's gonna get hurt or anything but if you've got a group of guys and they want to do it three different ways they'll sit there and argue about it for an hour and completely and nullify the time won or the time that you would have gained by doing it whichever way and so I'll just jump in and say, we're doing it this way. I don't care. It doesn't matter who likes it or doesn't like, that makes most sense. Just go and do it. Um, and so it's decision-making um, and uh, you know, people can get behind that. What is it, what is the trade missing right now when it comes to leadership? Uh, All of those things? <laughs> yeah, I think, I think the biggest thing it's missing is experience. Uh, a lot of our older guys are, they're not there. Uh, they're either retired or, you know, they're not that good. Um, unfortunately, if there's older guys in our career or in our path of work and they're in their fifties and just alignment, they're just alignment for a reason. And so it's, it's hard to take stock in something someone like that says when you're not capable of being a leader at that age. So it just kind of left up to younger guys like us to really step up and, and want to be the best and then want to bring everybody else and raise everyone else to the level that you expect. Um, and the main thing I tell my, tell all my apprentices is at some point or another, especially if I get a good one that shows promise almost all the time they will, if it's an apprentice in the bucket with a lineman who's not the best or another apprentice, they'll work down to their level just because they're a lineman. And that's unacceptable to me. Like you force other people to raise up to your standards. Like if you're good, don't just sit there and go along with another guy just cause he's a JL and he's doing stupid stuff. Like raise everyone else to your level, work to your level and make them work up to your level. And so that's, that's what I try and do. Um, if like I'll go climb a pole, I don't care. Like I'll be the first one on the pole, I'll be the first one in a bucket, first one on a helicopter. I don't care. Like I'll do anything. I'll never ask anybody to do something that I wouldn't do either. And anyone that's worked for me will tell you that also. Um, they'll tell you I'm an asshole, but they'll also tell you I'm a good lineman. <laughs> what is that just like it just seems like you're not you naturally have that, but is it is it something that's like is this something that can be trained into people? Like, are we missing something coming from utilities, companies, whatever, um, on training how to like cope with this position and how to deal and do this position of leadership, whatever that position is, like how to be I a think, leader. Yeah. Tough, tough love. Um, I think it really gets you somewhere. Uh, I had an apprentice that worked for me at PG&E and he was a really good apprentice and he worked for me for almost four years, most of his apprenticeship. And not one time did this kid ever come out of the air and I tell him he did a good job. <laughs> as brutal as that sounds, I always found something that he could have done better. And, uh, then the day he topped out, like that was the day I told him how proud of him I was, how good of a job he did, how good of an apprentice he was. Like, uh, I actually kicked my brother off my crew and made him my lead lineman the day he topped out. Like that's, <laughs> and he never would have guessed that would happen. Uh, nobody would have, but I, I don't care who you are. Best friend, brother, like it doesn't matter. The best qualified guy should get that job and he earned it. Uh, he did a good job. And I will definitely not say his name because I don't want him to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> Head's going to grow three sizes. Oh yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> What's your, what's your advice to these guys then? Uh, don't take your foot off the pedal, like mm -hmm. grind. And when no one's looking like every day out on the job, you're building your resume every mm -hmm. day. You're, you're building relationships and that's all, especially on the outside, working outside line. 
that's all you have is the name, your name and your reputation. And, you know, like when you watch football and they show wide receivers that took the playoff and didn't put their effort in, I see that every day out on the job and I remember that. Because if I'm ever running a job, I'm going to know who's actually giving it their all versus who's just going to dick off. And uh, and so give it your all every day. Uh, don't, if, especially if you're an apprentice, do not stand around and talk to journeymen like you're a journeyman. Go clean a bin, always be doing something because that goes noticed and that'll get you a lot farther than bullshitting with the fucking JLs.